Dearly beloved, we gather here today to celebrate Chris and Maria as they come together to unite in this holy matrimony. With feelings of elation and joy, we prepare to bear witness to this sacred ceremony. Their donation for each other is plausible and is truly worthy of appreciation. We are particularly blessed to have friends and families in attendance today. The groom and bride would like to extend their thank you to all of you for personally coming down and making this ceremony more meaningful. Chris and Maria enjoy a firm foundation for their relationship, one built on trust, respect, their shared principles, and of course, their kids. With a deep mutual understanding, they come before us today ready to make their oaths of marriage and dedicate their lives to one another once again. There's truly nothing more powerful than love. As the Bible reminds us in the Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 7, many waters cannot quench love, rivers cannot wash it away. If one were to give it all, if give all the wealth of their house for it, it would be utterly scorned. As Chris and Maria prepare to make their sacred vows, we are grateful for the love felt in this space and the timeless merriment being forged. Miss Josie, would you like to give away Maria again? Yes. <laughs> Just wanted to affirm your, your decision. Now we might run away. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, marriage is a sacred and historical institution that warrants great respect. As we gather to witness Chris and Maria formalize their reunion, let us acknowledge the significance of commitment that they are about to enter. In life today, I live it, I live it now. There was a quote I was given by a great mentor I had. Um, he used to say, uh, since majority of us are military today. He used to say, you can never tell the military to take you to where you want to go, but you can maneuver it to take you to where you want to be. At the time, at the time I thought he was talking about the place, the destination, when you PCS, that's where you're trying to go. Tell the military I want to go here. I later realized he was talking about the people he was talking about the surroundings and your environment that you put yourself in, that you have to maneuver it to put yourself into where you think you deserve to be. Chris and Maria, in life, you can never tell it to where you can, uh, to where you want it to go, but you can maneuver it to where you deserve to be, where you guys want to take it. You have to make sure that whatever you believe in has to come true in your nature. In Samoa, we say, which means don't be too tired to live, but scared to die. In this life, whatever you guys have, don't be too tired to work on things that you think might embrace your love, might cherish it, might make it better but also don't be too scared to die for it. As you embark on this journey together, embrace that love that throws, all that throws your way. Remember to lean on each other. Always keep your spouse at the center of your heart and be ready to provide them support. If you can believe it, the love you share today, as strong as it is today, and we can all bear witness to that, will only continue to grow and flourish over time. This phenomenon will be one of the greatest gifts that life has to offer, so cherish it. With that in mind, we will now begin the formal matrimonial proceedings. Under the eyes of God, the sacred covenant will be finalized. As the Bible reminds us in Ecclesiastics, with loving companionship, we may overcome any obstacle. Chris and Maria, 
as you prepare your vows to one another, understand the significance of what you guys are trying to do. It, uh, it extends beyond the two of you. In forming this union, you are also participating in historical tradition carried out by your ancestors and those before you. Keep this in mind as we proceed. Yes? Yes. Chris and Maria, I will now invite you to declare your vows for one another. Chris? Yes. Would you like to start? <laughs> <laughs> I stop my glasses real quick. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> today, today, I pleaded to love you and sickness, in sickness or in health, and for better or worse. This last 16 years and a day had tested those vows, but our enduring love for one another has prevailed. I come here today to celebrate the next chapter, to renew my vows of love, honor, and fidelity, and to affirm and to reaffirm my love for you. I will be here by your side until the end, and I love you, and you'll always be my only love. <laughs> Chris, my love, 16 years ago we said yes. It's okay. You got it. Hola. <laughs> We said yes and promised unconditional love to each other and continue to do so every day. I admire your patience, your determination to never give up on us. When most people did around us. Your faithfulness to our love is not never ending. Even when you drive me crazy at times. You are my rock, my best friend, my everything. Today again, I promise you my unconditional love to you with a bit more patience so we can continue our never ending love story. Oh my gosh, Chris. <laughs> Chris and Maria. Under the eyes of God, Chris, do you take Maria to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to support her completely and love her unconditionally so long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> Maria, under the eyes of God, do you take Chris to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to support and completely and love him unconditionally so long as you both shall live? Always and forever I do. Very well, let's proceed. Your vow is complete. It is time to exchange the rings. For these rings, I've always wondered why it's a ring. It's a symbol of an unbroken love. That is why it's circled. Chris, I will ask you to go first. Please re repeat after me as, I, as you place the ring into Maria's hand. I, Chris. I, Chris. Give you, Maria, this ring. Give you, Maria, this ring. As a symbol of my eternal love. As my sim symbol of my eternal love. And dedication. And dedication. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Maria, now you will do the same. I, Maria. I, Maria. Give you, Chris, this ring. Give you, Chris, this ring. As a symbol of my eternal love. As a symbol of my eternal love. And dedication. And dedication. With this ring, I with, thee with. <laughs> with this ring, I thee with. By the power bestowed in me, great state, show me, Missouri, 
<laughs> and now I pronounce you again, <laughs> husband and wife, guns. Right now, kiss you, bride. All right. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah, no. We're looking for something dumb to do. Let's kiss the bride to enter. Hey, baby. You must kiss the bride to enter. You must kiss the bride to enter. <laughs> that was my success. Hold on, I gotta put my clothes back on. <laughs> Trash got a pocket full of cash. We can blow shots of patrol, and it's on, girl. Don't say no, 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 no. Just say yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll go, 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 go. If you're ready, like I'm ready, cause it's a beautiful. It's a beautiful